welcome back. I hope that you all had a really good week and welcome to my new house. It's took me a little while to get everything set up, but we are here now. So what we're going to do this week is what is happening uh, with your person that you don't actually know about. So we're going to go into the workings of their inner mind. We're going to go into the deepest, darkest secrets and see what's actually happening with your person. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances. Um, so it's just going to pull up the strongest mutual energy, basically. Deck number one and deck number two. Uh, my guy told me to use the more masculine decks. Remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific, but with, um, with energies, in, in spiritual stuff, it works with masculine, feminine energy, and these are the masculine decks. So deck number one, deck number two, think about your person. We just want your person's energy, really. We're gonna take your, and we're gonna go into your energy to link into theirs, and then we're gonna pull your energy out. Okay, so here we go. Can you get me into deck number one's energy, please? So think about your person. Can we get into that person's energy of deck number one? A person's energy. My best friend brought me this deck. It's a Wizard of Oz deck. Deck number one. Okay, um, and your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, their thought processes, and can you take the people's energy out that are watching just to stick with their people that they are in love with, their beloveds. Just want the beloved energy. Brilliant. And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of their beloveds. Okay, so the first thing that's kind of coming through with deck number one is a message just, just for you lot watching, and that is Selena Gomez, Lose You To Love Me. Now, a lot of you are kind of feeling this sense of loss at the moment, feeling that your person has kind of done a 180 or just evaporated into the mist or that it's not quite going how you want it to be going. Um, and that song's coming forward that really, you know, we say this in quite a few things, no matter how much is hurting you at the moment, it's not about where you are at this point in time. It's about, just, I just saw something go across the screen then. Um, it's not about where you are at this point in time. It's kind of about the journey and moving forward and self-love. I know it's a pain when people say it, but self-love is key to you guys manifesting and getting what you want from the situation so that song is actually really strongly written for you lot you know okay can you tell me what's happening with their person that they don't know about let's see what's going on what's the mutual energy on the people that they don't know about so my guide is saying we need nine cards cards and we have what's happening that they don't know about. Four, five, what's happening that they don't know about. Six, seven, eight, and one more please. Nine. Okay, it's really hard to see what the cards say at the bottom. I kind of need to go over it in like a bit of a pen because if you look at that, it just looks like purple, doesn't it? But um, it does say words. So if I start staring at it, it's not that my eyesight's gone dodgy. It's just because they've got. Uh, it's quite hard to read it. So what's happening with your person that you don't know about? They've been going through quite a bit of a dark time. They've been feeling very, very low about everything that's happening around them. And they feel that they don't really know who they are as a person. And actually, you know, that song, Lose You To Love Me, reflects on their energy as well. Because they are trying to find out who they are. They've got so many different masks that they wear um, in front of people. And really, they, they don't know. They, they have like a party mask, some of them. They have like the family mask. They have the mask with you. Um, they have the mask with work. And they have so many different kind of, I wouldn't say personalities, but different ways of perceiving situations and acting in different ways. And really, they don't know who they are as a person. If they went back to the essence of their individual soul, they wouldn't know what was going on. And this is causing a lot of confusion in their minds, a lot of confusion in their beings. They want to get to a place where they're feeling at peace. And at the moment, they're just trying to uh, maneuver around situations and really having a few dark nights of the soul to 
discovering who they are and this is why that lose you to love me song has come forward as well because they have they you guys never whether you're with them whether you're not with them they are really kind of trying to find out who they are gain that self-love for themselves which they have lost along the way they are thinking about you more than what you think they are and um, you're coming forward in this very bright white energy and it's interesting because i decided to wear white today white being the symbol of kind of purity of divine energy and they're seeing that you understand a lot more to this situation than perhaps they do. That you know that there's more going on than meets the eye. And even though they don't understand divine connection, a majority of them don't understand divine connections or why they have this strong pull towards you, they do know that there is something more going on than meets the eye. And you are in their thought process. They're thinking, how can you be so cool, calm and collected about it all? whilst they're discovering who they are. So they're on this kind of soul searching business at the moment and they envy you to a degree because you've worked out who you are, you know who you are as a person and a lot of you have fought extremely hard to become the people that you are today and your person envies that. So we have a little bit of that energy coming forward as well. Um, they're feeling like they're in a bit of a mixed bunch at the moment. They're not sure what direction they're meant to be going. They're not sure what they're meant to be doing in their lives. They almost, your people feel that they are standing kind of stagnant in this stagnant energy. And everything is kind of spinning around them in like this vortex. Um, and they're trying to grab a hold of it. And they just, they can't. So there's a lot of confusion, a lot of... Um, falsities spirit saying there's a lot of falsities that are fading away from them at the moment as they start to discover their true essence of a person and who they are a lot of them are regretting stuff that has happened in their past um, they feel that they, they haven't handled situations in the best way and some of that is reflected to you guys that they haven't treated you in the best way possible and they have a remorse and a regret and a fear over it thinking well you know what maybe I'm just not good enough for anyone maybe I deserve to be on my own because I don't treat people in the best respect even if it's like a third party and there was someone else they're still thinking of you so they're thinking well I'm not handling this situation great I'm not doing the best I can do I'm really kind of struggling struggling with all of it um, and because I've treated people the way I have I know that they deserve more so again it's really battling themselves at the moment it's like your people are trying to pull against their souls and their souls calling them towards you their soul, you're, their soul is saying oh you lot I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming but then their head gets in the way because again they haven't worked who they are out as a person they're trying to analyze who they are as a person and through that that confusion happens and they don't know why they have this pull towards you and there is a very very strong pull there's almost a bit of sense in a sense as a codependency with your person and you that's not all of you that's some of you but they feel like they can't really live with you, but they can't live without you. They don't know how to kind of survive without you. Um, and so they run away from it. They get scared, they run off, they put on these masks, they try to show the world that they're really, really good. But underneath it all, the, your person is kind of falling apart of the scenes, really. Um, really struggling, struggling to gain who perspective on who they are. Um, they are still chained to you, they are still thinking about you, they try to keep balanced on it, but it they struggle. And therefore they kind of deceive themselves as well, Spirit is saying. They're deceiving themselves about their emotions towards you, or about how, yeah, emotions, how they feel, or um, the situation in general. You know, if there are circumstances why you can't be together, they'll blame it on circumstances. Is it, if it's fear that they can't be, t you guys can't be together, or you're not together, then they'll say, oh, maybe I don't feel the way I do. But they do feel all of that. They're just really, really frightened. Um, a few of them have got parental issues as well, especially in relation to dad in debt number one and um, a few of your people have had issues with fathers figures in the past and if they have kids as well themselves they're going to be wanting to do what is right by their children um, and that's kind of messing up their head as well because they don't want to follow in their father's footsteps but they kind of um are, not all of them but they, they're panicking about that they're thinking well you know my dad didn't treat me the best way possible if they have kids i want to make sure that my children will be treated the best way possible and then they freak out because they're like no i need to be a good person i need to be a good dad and again they start battling themselves they're not realizing that they are good people but they've had you know a bit of a messed up life they've, they've struggled with life as of all spiritual people you know there's always going to be a battle because it's not about the it's not about the destination it's about the journey and that is what's 
really going on with your person, struggling with this essence of who they are, fighting their soul. Now on the other side of it, we have the emotions towards you um, and they're feeling really fed up with the situation and they are still, if you are on social media, they are watching what you are up to. Now some of them have gone really quiet with you, some of them are kind of having this shadow energy, but again, trying to see through the darkness at the moment to the light. Um, they can see, think about, sorry, you are in the background of their thoughts, again that's coming forward, um, and they can see that you would love to be with them. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> I've got a bit of a cold I have. Um, they can see that they would, that you would love to be with them, that you're making these kind of offerings of romance towards them, um, and they've got their back turned towards you, and they're not communicating with you, and if they are communicating, it's a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit back, a little bit forward, a little bit on, off, hot, cold, etc, etc. Um, and again, it's because they don't know how to handle the situation. They are feeling quite pulled with you with regard to their heart-centered energy and their sexual energy as well. So there's this kind of battle going on here because one side of things they're like, well, you know, I'm not gonna commit because I don't want anything serious. I'm just gonna wait and see what happens and will, if it's meant to be, it's gonna be. And then on the other side of things, I've got my lover or him, sorry guys, I love them. Um, I know they're sad, I know that I haven't treated them the best way possible, they deserve more, they want more from me. But then when you come back towards it, then this pull happens and they're kind of stuck between the two. So they're kind of balancing their emotions for you as well. And um, they have got hope that the two of you are going to work out. They have got hope that the two of you will be together. Um, and some of them have even got hope that you guys will be able to have a family with them or join their family, again, if, they have ma if they're married with kids, etc, etc. And that you could be a part of their family, but they're still clinging on to the situations that they are currently involved in. Now, they are going to be coming towards you with some kind of offer. Now, the offers from deck number one that is being made is heart-centered offers. So they're going to start balancing these emotions. Once they work through these darker nights of the soul, they're coming towards you and saying, look, you know, I haven't treated you the best way possible. Um, I want to make amends. I want to show you how I feel about you because actually underneath it all, you are my world. It took me a long time to realize it. But when I have realized that, I've realized that I can't actually live without you. And therefore, this offer of coming in of these new romantic beginnings, they're going to say to you, we really need to put the past behind us because the past has been um, a detriment to me, a detriment to you. And again, I haven't treated you how I should have treated you. And I really need more from this situation now what you guys decide to do about that at that point when it happens it's going to be down to you you're all at very different time frames on it so if you wanted to look at timings let me know and we can do it over single question or video reading um but there is this this pull towards you this wanting to be with you but all these kind of fears rising up to the surface they have to work out who they are as a person um, and in a sense, you guys are echoing that energy because even though you've worked very, very hard and like I said, you fought hard to be the person that you are today, you still have these underlying concerns and issues thinking, well, you know what, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe they've treated me this way because not that you deserve to be treated, but that has gone through some of your guy, you guys' heads. Like, maybe I deserve to be treated like this. Maybe I've made such a mess up of my life. Yada, yada, yada. It's all bull, but that is what's going through your thought process. And and the reason for that kind of going through your thought process is because you guys are mirroring. So you're, you're going through the cycle together, but you're going through it through different perspectives. So they are really analysing who they are and fighting their soul. You're trying not to fight your soul, but you're fighting your head because your head's saying, oh, give up, move on, yada, yada, yada. Then underneath that layer, we have the, I love them. I'm going to try and see what happens. We'll make maybe it's sexual energy because that's easier for me to talk about than emotional energy and then you guys are like well um all they do is seem to want sex or we have sex and sex is at the forefront and where are the emotions underneath all of that so you guys echo there you're like i want the emotional side of things they're like i don't know how to handle the emotions so let's talk about sex then underneath that we have another layer um which is, I'm really confused, I've, you know, I've, I've handled the situation really badly, I don't know how to progress with it, and you guys are like, well, they've handled the situation really badly, I don't know if I want them anymore. And again, you have this mix-up of energies between the two of you, and you can really see that clear mirroring which has happened between you 
and them. Um, but underneath it all, when it comes down to it, I just really got uh, No Doubt underneath it all. You really love me underneath it all. It's a key song for you guys and your person. They have these very strong emotions towards you. They want to put the past, well, they will get to a point where they want to put the past behind them and see what happens with the two of you, see how you progress and see what direction you will go in. Um, so it's actually what's happening with them at the moment is a lot of confusion in short, a lot of confusion, a lot of fear. Um, and a lot of trying to work it all out, work out what's best for them, and then in turn work out what's best for you. Um, and that, that's it. That's what's happening to them that you do not know about. Okay? Right. Uh, I just got a song, just before I finish up that number one, we just got a song. Um, who sings that? It's Love You Most. Is it Miley Cyrus? I think it's Miley Cyrus. Love You Most by Miley Cyrus. That is like what your person is thinking and feeling about you. Is it because you love them the most that they have all these fears and they're treating you like crap, basically? But there's an offering. Okay, that's deck number one. Right, let me just have a pause. I'm going to do this video in two parts. Get a glass of water. Okay, I'm back. Let's see deck number two. So... Here we go, going into the inner workings of you, your person uh, and finding out what is happening that you guys don't know about. I'm battling a bit of a cold at the moment, so if I'm sniffly and sneezy, just bear with me. Um, yeah, woke up feeling like, oh, there's a cold, there it is, and I, I never really get ill, so when it happens, I'm like, uh, throws me off, off kill. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into your people, think about your people, uh, go into their energy. Get into their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. We're just going to use their energy today. We're not going to use your energy, but I need to go through your energy to link it to their energy. Um, works on the strongest mutual energy. How many times can you say energy in one sentence? Works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. Okay, so what that means is we're going to all you lots people find out what's happening within them um, as a whole as a collective okay can you take out the people's watching energy so we just have their beloved energy in the cards please i just got um a1 take on me take on me not quite sure why I don't even know the lyrics to that but I'm gonna throw it at you because it's gonna make sense somewhere along the line okay can you tell me please what is happening with the people what their people that the guys watching don't know about what is it that they need to be aware of I love uh, open-ended questions like this with tarot because it really goes to the essence of your people and finds out what's actually happening that's way too many I haven't used this deck in ages have one at a time please what's happening thank you what's happening that they people watching don't know about three four i'm going to do nine cards again like we did with deck number one what's happening with the people watching that they don't know about three two three, four, and then one more please. Okay, so let's see what have we got here. Now your person um, is okay, is probably the right word to say that. Um, they are trying to think things through logically at this moment in time with regard to you and what's happening with you and we have this slow steady movement coming forward and some of you will say Ali it's on the back of a snail we do know that because you're having this hanged man energy so at the moment your person isn't making these massive sweeping statements or if in fact anything kind of coming towards you but they are thinking about it they're thinking well you know, if I take this slowly, if I go gently, then maybe there's a chance that this is going to work out between the two of us and that we can move things forward. Now, they are a bit like a rabbit in headlights. So what's happening here? And you know with a deer, uh, I used to live in the countryside in England and we have deers like running around everywhere and they're very 
graceful, gentle, calm creatures. And then you go past in your car and they vomit. They're like, oh my God, light, go, go, go. And that's kind of what's happening here. So your person is sneaking in on the background, you know, they're, they're sneaking up in the background saying, what are you up to? What's going on? And then you kind of come out of the woodwork, where are you? You coming out here saying, hi, look at me and all my light, like the car headlights. And your person goes, oh my God, ah, and tries to kind of bomb it again. So you are gonna be feeling that you're going two steps forward and one step backward with your person. Um, but they are thinking, maybe this can work. Maybe there's a way that this is gonna this is gonna progress between the two of us. They have a lot of fear energy, and a lot of this is kind of. I said in deck one, it's kind of shadow work. But your people in deck two is also shadow work is happening. That they are working through these darker um, energy, and they get really. Can I make a claw on here? I no longer have shadows. It's not gonna work. But your people have got this kind of claw energy. You know when you have a. Um, and then a hand is a hand and then when you put it in the dark in the shadows it becomes a claw and your person is kind of working through this fear-based energy trying to avoid these claws that are coming their way they're feeling like they're trying to hide away from reality a little bit and with that some of your people are kind of indulging in escapism behavior that's not all of you that's some of you um so some of your guys are an example escapism behavior alcohol drugs meaningless sex um game stations, regardless of gambling, anything along those lines to just kind of take them away from reality. This is where your person is at the moment. Now, some of your people have also made, if you are a third party situation, I'm hearing some of your people have made false promises to the people that they are already with. So in regard to that, what they mean is they've kind of got themselves involved in a situation, a difficult situation, and they haven't known how to get out of it. And this claws kind of come towards them. The shadows have been illuminated. You're over there with your bright light and they've, they've panicked and agreed to stuff that they wouldn't necessarily agree with. So some of that could be holidays, um, it could be maybe potentially families, um, it could be even family occasions like going away, um, it could be even going forward, some of, not engagement or anything like that, but like kind of commitment with their person. They've got themselves roped into it. This is only for the third party people, okay? They've got, and you will know you're a third party. So if you're like, I don't know who it is, don't panic. Um, your third party people, they've got roped into situations and they can't, they've, they're struggling to backtrack on it, so that's coming up as well. But those of you that aren't third parties, your person is a bit like a rabbit in headlights, very timid, very shy when it comes to the connection with you. And the reason for that is because they don't really get it. And I, I don't understand. So they are balancing it all out at the moment. There's also a bit of an influence of other people happening here. Now this feels Remember, it's never sexually orientated or gender specific, but this is a male energy coming forward. So this is likely to be your person's friend or father or brother or any kind of male really is influencing the situation but they are actually kind of influencing it a little bit in your favor your person isn't very good at talking about their emotions so when they do open up to this specific person around them um the person the friend or family or whatever is like oh okay this person's opened up to me and they are actually backing your corner in a sense saying look you know what mate this girl really loves you or guy really loves you, they adore you, but you're not treating them right. If you're gonna be an idiot, because you're gonna lose them forever, if you wanna be with them, go be with them. And once that kind of happens, this movement happens quite quick and sudden movement is coming forward. You also have the movement of kind of this non-committal energy. So they're gonna come, if you're not in contact, they'll come back and test the water. If you are in contact, they'll say, oh, let's meet up, let's do something or other, let's see what happens between the two of us. And they're really just gonna go with the flow of it, ride it out but they can see that you two could actually be really happy together. If you guys have had a fallout, then that fallout is coming to a close. Um, you have over here that they've been, this is your kind of reconciliation, you, they've been showing the world that they are this perfectly fine, stable tree, you know, and especially with their friend that can see through them. Um, they can see, their friend can see that this tree is not all it seems because when they turn it upside down, you have all these deep rooted emotions um, and they are to do with emotions, they are to do with sexual energy, they are to do with confidence energy and there is a little bit of communication but also security issues kind of coming forward as well and their friend or ma this male energy can really see through 
these shadows, can really see through what your person is going through and saying to them, look, you can't pretend you're this big, beautiful tree all the time. You really need to go and focus on what's causing this trauma towards you and what's causing those issues towards you, towards them is that they have unresolved stuff with you and they want to see what happens and what progresses. So this person's backing their corner. Um, your person is going to be making movement towards you. You have over here that you have your, I don't know how you could get any better cards than this. You've got the sun, you've got the, oh sorry, no, yeah, you've got the sun and you've got the three of cups over here. So these two are really good cards about saying about positivity, um, that you're going to get the outcomes that you guys want and your people are going to get the outcomes that they want as well. Again, third parties are being brought into it, but even with, with them, try not to let the... Dwell, try not to dwell on the other person. I've done a bunch of third party readings, you can go watch them individually. Um, there is a few issues of jealousy here. Your person is a little bit worried that you're going to move on without them if they don't get their, their gears in play, if they don't put their foot on the gas. They're going to feel that you're going to move on without them, which is going to really confuse them, really like go, oh shit, I've lost them. Um, and I have this fire still burning in my soul for them. So, there's jealousy being rooted into this as well, that your person, that you guys don't know about, that they are quite jealous. And it's not just jealous of you and if you're seeing other people or if you're single or if you're escaping the situation. It's jealousy that you are able to move forward with your life and your person is feeling stuck and chained because of their fears, because of what they've done and how they've been. They have that fear-based energy. Um, so this little flame over here, which they have towards you, is going to build up and become a big bright shining, sh shining sun and then you have your happy outcome and we've got the three little birds over here which is going to remind me of Bob Marley three little birds sat on your doorstep singing sweet songs of melody true and true pure and true saying this is my message to you don't worry about a thing okay so your person is kind of trying to chill the energy out they're trying not to panic about it um, and this is why it's slow, steady movement. So if you are in communication, try not to pound them into a corner by trying to get commitment from them. They will commit to you when they are ready. If you're not in communication and they're making moves towards you, let them come. Don't try and you know keep texting and calling them because again, this rabbit in headlights, you're gonna make them run back the other way. Um, re you know, Let them come to you, this slow, steady movement. Don't change who you are. You keep shining into this beautiful, bright empress, giving birth to your dreams, being in this very strong, divine, feminine energy, and your person is going to come towards you. Um, the the little the jealousy is a root that you don't know about. That they have got these jealousy issues. You don't know that they're communicating with someone dear to them who's going to push them towards you. Um, the two sides of them as well, you can't really see that, you can only see the one side of them, let me do it like that, you can see the one side of them, but actually underneath it all, they have all these roots and issues uh, that are being flagged up for them to work through, and then you have your happy outcome, your person does have a lot of respect for you, even though they might not seem it, they have a lot of respect for you, they have a lot of wanting to see where things go with you, they, they will go with the flow of it, they're not going to kind of say to you, all eggs in one basket just yet, they will go with the flow of it, and that's why it's important that you let them take this slow, steady movement. You have three cards of movement in here, so if you are not in communication, you are be going to be gaining it. Three nights, three cards of movement. It's coming, okay? Um, and your outcome is good, really good, okay? So, yeah, that's what you don't know about. That is it. Let them make this slow, steady movement towards you. Um, don't let your fears get in the way that, you know, things aren't going at the speed that you want it to. For this to happen properly, you're going to have to go at their speed. And once you go at their speed, this stagnant energy is really going to fade away. And your bat is going to start flapping his wings and off he flies, coming to get you again. I, get, I always think of a bat, you know, and I look at this card and I think the bat's upside down, that's genuinely how bats are, so really the bat should have been the right way up. It's just one of my things I notice on cards, but yeah, should have been like that. So he's already already really making movement towards you, That I always find that signifies that with this specific card, because the bat is always sleeps upside down, don't they? And then... Um, so this is actually as if he's just ready to kind of start flying as well. So you are having movement. Deck 2 is definitely about movement. Um, 
don't put the pieces of a jigsaw together if you don't know the, what's actually happening. Because you guys are adding two and two and making 30. Um, wait till you know the facts. Wait till you know what's actually happening. Don't let your head run away with you. Uh, and if you do feel like your head is running away with you, take a step back. Have a good breather. Breathe it through and let it go. Um, and your person will make these moves towards you. Debt two is really positive really positive um they're not hiding amazing things like they're not hiding things from you the they are just taking it very very slowly towards you and including third parties as well same thing they've been honest with you it feels for this deck they've been they've been honest with you your person has communicated with you what's really happening so listen to them don't get the pieces of the puzzle and try and make it fit it will fit as they as things progress forward go with the flow of it like they are you know they want to go with the flow of it you go with the flow of it too and until they give you that commitment you go be free as a bird i just got free bird by Lennon skinhead go and enjoy yourself they will come towards you you don't have to bog your life down put your life on hold waiting for them they will catch up with you slow steady movement but catching up definitely okay and that is deck number two so if you need me uh drop i'll put all the details in the description i do video readings i do single questions over email if you uh which the turnaround is, is 24 to 48 hours single questions video readings my turnaround is 20 to 24 days i have a big wait list for them um i also have a couple of spaces of the new year's happen for mentoring um so if you're interested in mentoring give me a shout we also do we being me and my guides we also do manifesting plans which are tailored just to you to make sure uh, to get what you want movement things happening um where your dreams your miracles will come true uh, giving you the tools and techniques you need for that they're all tailored to the individual so they're not a generic manifesting plan you will each have an individual one with your own techniques in it so if you want one of them doing it as well give me a shout uh, most of the details are on the website apart from the mentoring because i haven't updated it yet um and i only have like limited spaces on it and that's it so have a really good week guys uh, it's lovely to read for you in my new home i am sending lots of love to you all take care and god bless bye